Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. And today we're looking at the week of February the 5th to the uh, 11th. Um, and before we go into the individual star signs, we will have a look at the uh, overall energy of the week. And you know what I really miss? I really miss filming these episodes outdoors. And, um, and I can't wait for the weather to get better so that I can record in nature again. Because uh, to me, this makes uh, a big a big difference. I just like to be out and about. <clears throat> Not knocking my healing room here. It's quite beautiful. But um, I always prefer uh, um, um, nature, obviously. So um, yeah, fingers crossed the weather is going to be uh, better soon. So let's have a look at the overall energy for the week, February the 5th to the 11th, 2018. The overall energy for the next week is one of contemplation is probably too strong a word, but one where it is important that you pace yourself or we all pace ourselves right. Um, we, uh, it's, it's important this, this, this week to look at our strengths and um, to look at the, the fact that we have uh, skills and we have made progress uh, and have learned many life lessons. But it's also a really important week, especially for those of you who go through a lot of stuff, who um, are tired, who are feeling hurt or worse, maybe even broken. Um, it's important to realize that, that even though progress or uh, changes may be slow, um, you will get there as long as you keep going. It's quite, quite important to, uh, to do that. Um, and there's a, there's a, there's a saying, I um, can't quite remember who said it, but someone said um, that you can't rely on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. And it means that sometimes we're looking at situations um, and don't really see um, how this can ever resolve and how this can uh, ever, um, how we can ever progress. And, um, uh, and sometimes it has to do uh, with a little faith that things will get better and are getting better. But this is one of those weeks where um, we can't rush it and um, need to have some trust um, that we're going in a way where we're supposed to go and that everything is in divine order. Um, and um, you can see here I have the little beautiful uh, um, uh, unicorns here. And um, it's important uh, because this week um, apparently is about seeing things um, from the third eye or from our, um, in a way, our spiritual uh, core um, rather than our logic. So that's the overall energy for the week, uh, February the 5th to the 11th, 2018. And now we're going into the um, individual star signs, starting with Aquarius. For Aquarius this week, it's important to realize that your uncertainties that you may have about uh, situations um, do not serve you at all. Again, um, the overall energy was one of um, having faith and trust, and um, it is reflected in the Aquarius uh, energy this week. Um, so what is important is to realize that, that being uncertain about things doesn't change anything. What the guides are saying to you, that you will always be looked after. Um, the guides have got your back, the universe is looking after you, and they're asking you to keep that faith. And again, um, manifest, meditate, um, do journeys. It's really important this week for Aquarius to be in touch with your guides, okay? Short and sweet for Aquarius, going into Pisces.
Pisces. We are a little bit um, <laughs> uh, luckier, more lucky than um, Aquarius with regards to uh, energy. Um, we have, uh, this week, we have to realize that we have uh, made quite a bit of progress and that we're actually moving quite fast um, into uh, 2018 and that the energy is much higher anyway in 2018 than it was in 2017 and that this high energy that is around us um, is uh, coming to fruition for uh, Pisces this week and the more enthusiastic we are about um, things, especially projects, things that we can do, uh, things that we want to uh, explore, the better they will work. So uh, to cut a long story short, for, for um, Pisces this week it's important that we are um, looking at things um, with fun and enthusiasm and go for it. Okay, that was Pisces, short and sweet, going into Aries. For Aries this week, it's quite important. This will, will this will be a week where you will be misunderstood probably quite a bit, and where even though what you say makes a lot of sense, you might not be uh, truly listened to. If that makes sense, um, but this week it's important rather than letting it go um, to stand your ground. It's really really important for Aries this week to um, speak your mind, uh, but speak it from the heart. Always be in your softness, be in your kindness. Um, it's a much better way um, than arguing, fighting over stuff. Um, if you are in a situation where you find that difficult, then you have to detach yourself from it first. Step back a little bit, take a deep breath, and then stand your ground and speak your truth. But uh, that's the main message this week, um, is, to, is to realize that this week communication will be difficult um, and that solutions thereby or therefore will not necessarily come about easily this week. Um, I can share with you that next week the energy is much higher than this week um, because we have a new moon, we have two asteroids that join that new moon, there's loads of changes next week, we're also moving into uh, Pisces um, in a week on Sunday so um, hang in there, that's the main message, right? But stand your ground, it's quite, quite important. It was Aries going into Taurus. So that's quite interesting because uh, for Taurus it's important to realize that um, you're going through changes, you're going through transformation and, um, and changes and transformation always take a while and what the guides are asking you not to do is to actually worry about anything. Um, these changes that you're going through right now um, are important, they're actually life changing, they're quite important changes. And um, you just have to keep going and, and do not worry um, at all because the worry actually gets your energy lower um, than if you just go with the flow, right? Short and sweet. That was Taurus going into Gemini. Gemini, this week. It's quite interesting um, energetically for Gemini this week because what the guides are saying to you is there's new beginnings and really great adventure to be had anytime soon. But you also have to be... Um, proud is the wrong word, but... but um, well, let's, let's use that word. Proud of yourself, proud of your achievements and proud of... Uh, 
who you are despite all your issues. You have to know your self-worth and your self-esteem has to be watched this week. Um, if you know this week and um, live that you are a good person, uh, new beginnings will be quite uh, um, will be sped up for you, if that makes sense. But you are going towards new beginnings that are really, really awesome. Um, some of them will be difficult because that's what happens when we're going through learning curves. Um, and we're all going through learning curves at all times, really. Um, so Gemini is no, is no difference. Um, no different. But um, really, if you, ha if you um, hold your head, hi head high this week, you will get there. So don't worry about a thing. Okie doke. Cancerians now. As I mix, mix the cards here for Cancerians, I have that uh, Bee Gees song in my head. Um, for whom the bell tolls, the song is called. Where lonely hearts break. So I'm not sure if this is about heartbreak this week <laughs> or, or about endings. Um, we'll have, we'll have, we have to have a look right now. But usually when the guides sing to me, um, I ought to mention this. And, and an extra card even fell out. So for Cancerians, they are definitely, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely changes ahead uh, for Cancerians. What is important this week is to make decisions, uh, reflect on things, and trust that what you see is exactly how it is. So um, as you assess, assess it, assess, it, assess, it, <laughs> assess it as detached as you possibly can. Um, look at things and trust that what you see and more importantly what you feel is your true state of emotion and when you are true to your feelings it is much easier to make decisions there is a bit of hesitation here with regards to um, how the cancer uh, cancerians look at things this week and they're asking you to put hesitation aside make a decision or decisions, no matter, depending on what's going on here, and then um, put that topic to rest. Do not look back. Right? That was Cancerians going into Leo. Leo's energy this week is not the highest. <coughs> you have to have patience um, as you uh, go through this week. And what is important this week is to not live and be or feel guilty. Um, the moment you take on guilt, it's very easy to be manipulated by other people. Um, and once you feel uh, guilt, of any kind, um, your energy usually drops because the situations oftentimes do not change or improve. It's oftentimes about things that happened in the past. And what they're asking you to do is to not go into guilt. Also, do not allow people that tell you, oh, this is all your fault, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, don't listen to any of these things. Um, but this week uh, for Leos, um, take things slow, um, go slow. Um, not, don't argue with, with anybody this week, don't have uh, major discussions, just get through the week day by day as calm and collected as you possibly can and do not make big decisions. But first and foremost, do not allow anyone to put you on a guilt trip um, and, um, and if you are the person that puts yourself there, then that's, that's a pattern to change. Okie doke, that was Leo going into Virgo. Virgo this week, quite interesting because you have a lot of 
Power is the wrong word, but you have a lot of influence on things that happen to you uh, this week in particular. And what they're asking you is to realize that you are quite the shapeshifter. You can, you can easily adapt to situations. You also are a quick learner. So whatever life throws at you this week, you will, you will uh, absolutely manage. Um, uh, what's his name? The guy that, that founded Virgin, the, the company. <laughs> Richard Branson. He once said, if someone asked you, can you do that job? Say yes and figure out how to do it later. <laughs> and that sort of comes to mind here. What they're asking you is to have a high self-esteem. And um, if new challenges come to you, you can, you can accept them, no problem. Because what they're asking you to do this week is to concentrate on um, how strong you actually are, how versatile you actually are, and, and to um, remind yourself that change is everywhere. It's, the, it's probably the only uh, real constant in the universe is change. Uh, so don't fight it this week. Um, just trust that what life throws at you this week, you can easily handle. Right? That was Virgo going into Libra. It feels a bit like this is some sort of an in-between week. And um, that's also because next week everything changes. We have a completely different, much higher energy coming in. So it feels like we're weaning ourselves off this week from, from um, a lower type of energy. And that's why things maybe feel a little bit stuck for us all. Anyway, going into um, Libra. Okay, interesting. For Libra, the message this week is not about work, it's not about friends necessarily, it is about um, your personal relationship. It could be uh, with friends, but um, what I'm feeling is it's much more uh, relationship related. What they're saying to you, this week you will um, probably be misunderstood and sometimes um, people do not get what you're saying Reminds me of another star sign we had earlier, so there is, seems to be a little bit of a pattern here. But what you need to realize, within that relationship, where um, there are difficulties this week making a point, the affection and the love is real. Just because people don't get you does not mean they're not your friends, does not mean they don't love you. It just means that communication um, is a little lower. And it's not at an all-time low at all. It's just a little bit more difficult this week. So this is a week where you just go steadily and, 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 and slowly and you will be just fine. Okie dokie. That was Libra going into Scorpio. It's quite funny because we have Scorpio now and in my head I have a song of the Scorpions. Let me take you far away, you delight, a holiday. It's only February, it's not the, the, the holiday season yet. <laughs> so I don't know what this is about. Um, anyway, um, we are with Scorpio and we have a look at um, the uh, star sign um, message. What is important this week for um, Scorpio is that you are really learning at the moment. There's new things happening to you that you will internalize, that you will master and manage, and um, you have got nothing to worry about. What they're asking you to do is to be in your softness, be in your kindness, um, pay attention to your more nurturing side and nurture yourself, and trust that the things that come your way that feel initially uh, difficult, but where the universe is asking you to engage with it, um, accept the challenge and learn uh, through it and from it and go with it, is all meant to be. So um, what is important, therefore, is to not block anything. Everything and anything that comes to you this week is absolutely vital to your growth, um, your spiritual growth, and your, your future life, so to speak. Right? Okay. Double Scorpio going into Sagittarius. It's 
Sagittarius energy this week is quite is quite good. Um, what they're asking you to realize is that the more playful you are, the the more relaxed you are about things, the easier you get stuff done. What they're saying to you in short is that this week not much upheaval is happening to you. Um, be steadfast. Uh, um, stand your ground is wrong. It's more like realize that you are steadfast and that what um, you stand for is worth standing for. So um, stick to your guns, uh, but be playful in how you respond and react to people. Be lighthearted um, and uh, you will fly through this week. It's quite interesting because energetically speaking for Sagittarius, everything here feels super light of all the star signs and, we, and this, is the, this, this is the second last we only have Capricorn left for this week um, this is the, the lightest um, of the star signs thus far so your week is not going to be difficult and if there are people that make it difficult tell them off right um, it's important that the, the, the energy for your star sign for Sagittarius is light this week which is also important because they're asking you to be playful which then means that you amplify this lightheartedness and when things are lighthearted hearted things get easier okie dokie that was that and now we're going to our final star sign for this week which is uh, Capricorn Okay, for Capricorn, it is really important, um, and, and I know I, I mentioned being steadfast uh, just now <laughs> with, um, with uh, Sagittarius. And for um, Capricorn, it's even more important to, to be steadfast this week and to stick to your guns and, and know your values and know what you stand for. Um, you came here to this plane, to this realm, with um, a skill set, with a spiritual gift. And it's really important um, this week um, to be as spiritual as you truly are. What that means is you are spiritual anyway, but sometimes there are weeks where you just can't live it and where it's very difficult to um, somehow um, be super deep and do your stuff kind of thing. And this week it's really important that you look at your um, spiritual toolbox and use the tools in the toolbox quite well. Um, the only downside that Capricorn have is that you, um, because this week's energy is, is, is low-ish, you may feel a little bit isolated, um, dare I say even lonely um, at times. And so it is really important when these feelings of um, being isolated, you know, being alone, this kind of thing, uh, hit you. Um, you, can, you can sit with them, um, allow them to pass because they shall pass. As always, things will just pass and you will be just fine this week. But focus on your, your spiritual core this week and you're going to be all good. Right? So that's all we have time for. Um, and like I said, I'm looking forward to filming these episodes <laughs> outdoors uh, as the weather improves. Um, it was nice talking to you. Bye-bye.